We have breaking news here at noon. Take a look at this traffic camera right now. The inbound upper level lanes of the George Washington Bridge just reopened nearly 10 hours after a deadly crash involving two semi trucks. But the delays continue for miles and miles. Commuters headed into and out of the city are stuck. And it's not just the GWB. They are at a standstill at the Lincoln and the Holland Tunnel as well. We have live team coverage of this ongoing traffic nightmare. Let's begin with Christine Sloan. Good afternoon. We're on Route 4, just a couple of miles away from the bridge, and it was jammed up until about 20 minutes ago. As you can see, traffic is moving now, but this was certainly a nightmare this morning. All of the lanes on the George Washington Bridge shut down with one open periodically so that truckers could go in. It was so bad that some drivers just turned around and went back home. Back here. It's one of the worst messes the George Washington Bridge has ever seen. Two tractor trailers crashing, leaving one of the drivers dead. Empty inbound lanes on the bridge itself, jams for miles on almost every New Jersey highway, and even in Manhattan. Drivers trying to make their way out of heavy traffic. The passengers, what am I worried about then? They need to go to work like everybody else. Trey Drayton needed to open up shop in Teaneck. It looks like I'm going to be late. <laughs> and my phone just died, so ELA, it's just all bad. But truckers like Luis Carranza had it even worse. Crazy, and I'm going to uh, Montauk, uptake all the way to the end of the island, so it's gonna be a while. He just shut off the engine and waited. I mean, it's nothing you can do. It's nothing you can do, traffic's not going nowhere, and I need to cross, so there's like, if I get another different route, it won't make any difference. Walking would have gotten you over the bridge faster, but even the walkway was closed. I was going to cross the bridge through the uh, walking, but I was still not, uh, it's closed both ways, so uh, I don't know. And the second driver was shaken up, taken to the hospital. Now, the question is asked by many drivers, why did all those lanes have to be shut down? We're told when an investigation is going on, they're taking pictures of the scene, and it would have been very difficult to have some of those cars on the bridge. And that is a story out here live in Inglewood, New Jersey. Christine Sloan, CBS 2 News.